that she lived a long time, I, you know, especially for ovarian cancer, yeah. because the, the diagnosis originally was like maybe a year, two years at the most, and then, you know, she lasted until the last year, you know, so it's she been was a fighter. She was, that, that was the thing. She fought up until the very end, and, you know, right at the very end, it was like, Mom, you can let go, you know, but she, she hung on, and she fought, and she was determined, you know. And, uh, it was amazing, her will to, to live as long as she did. Well, you were an amazing son in all this, because you really step forward in a way that people don't usually do. And tell me how the whole foundation, how did that come about? For me, it was like when I started with Breakaway, it was like the wellness committee was like the first time I really came to terms with what does that mean, what is that about? And then I asked my sister, is there anything in our community? And she said no, and that's how it all kind of started. So we treat the person, help educate, and give them an empower, which is very much what Breakaway is all about. And that's the beauty of it. It's not one individual. Yes, we kind of got it started, and we keep pushing it. And, but you're almost like you're caretaking with the community to make it possible because there's no way it would survive without the, the volunteers, the staff, and, and, the, and the community from around the world that are actually there raising money to make it happen. So it's pretty remarkable. You've raised a lot of money. We have. as uh, uh, almost a million dollars every year. So then that all the services are free, you know, and, and that's... Uh, that's but that's a, an thing. area of the country that desperately needs to have services provided to them. Well, you know, I think I mean, worldwide, like the wellness community, you know, there are a lot of communities that don't have that, that really need them. You know, there's that, you have the nurses, as you know, are so important, and then you have the doctors. But what happens when you're outside the hospital? What happens to the caregivers? What about the human touch? You know, you need that more than ever. That's really part of the healing process. And, you know, at the center, we talk about nutrition. We talk about, you know, you know massage, kids' programs, all that stuff. It's very... It's a lot, you know, it's, it's good. What's the Dempsey Challenge? Yeah, so I wanted also to promote healthy living and prevention. So how do you take care of your body? Yeah. You know, you need to be healthy, you need to be active. That's a big aspect of it, eating right, all that stuff. And this was a good way to connect the two from the Amgen Tour to California breakaway and get people active and, and moving. And, and it was a great way to raise money. And it's a bike event that takes place in October. You can bike uh, 25 miles, 10 miles. We're doing a, a kids event too, so we can get more of the families involved because I had my kids with me last year and they wanted to ride more and it's tough in a quick group, you know. Uh, but they got into it, so we're going to extend that out a little bit more and then we keep refining it as we go. One piece of advice to people who are newly diagnosed. Well, you're not alone, that's one thing. And I think there are a lot of people out there that have been through it. Uh, people like yourself, you know, I think there's a, you just, thank goodness for the the internet, you know. And, you know, please check in then with us at our center. You can go online. There's a website there that we try to keep improving so we have a very strong online presence to help people no matter where they are in the world. Uh, and uh, hopefully it can help people, you know. And it's, right. it's a remarkable journey. There's Even in the darkness sometimes, there is a light to be found that is, you know, truly special and transparent. Mom's looking down and she's smiling very proudly. <laughs> and a live TV is going to be there at that bike race in on um, October 17, 16, 17. Oh, good. See you there. All right. Okay. I, you'll see me there. <laughs> okay, good. All right. Thanks. It's good to see you again. Okay.